أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وآله وصحبه ومن والاه وبعد my Muslim brothers and sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Wa alaykum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Here we are again to conduct our weekly tafsir program Today we are going for the explanation of verse 148 from Surah Ali Imran, Quran chapter 3. Almighty Allah says, Audu billahi mina shaitani rajim, fa atahumu allahu thawaba dunia wa husna thawabi li akhira. فَآتَاهُمُ اللَّهُ ثَوَابَ الدُّنْيَا وَحُسْنَ ثَوَابِ الْآخِرَةِ وَاللَّهُ يُحِبُّ الْمُحْسِنِينَ صدق الله العظيم The English translation of the meanings before coming to the commentaries inshallah Almighty Allah here says, فَآتَاهُمُ اللَّهُ ثَوَابَ الدُّنْيَا So, Allah gave them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them a refined reward in this near life. وَحُسْنَ ثَوَابِ الْآخِرَةِ As well as the excellent reward awaiting them in the hereafter. وَاللَّهُ يُحِبُّ الْمُسِنِينَ Just because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves the good doers. I repeat. فَآتَاهُمُ اللَّهُ ثَوَابَ الدُّنْيَا Therefore, Allah gave them the reward of this near life. وَحُسْنَ ثَوَابِ الْآخِرَةِ As well as the refined reward awaiting them in the hereafter. Wallah yuhibbul musineen just because Allah loves the good doers. We are to recall to mind that in the past verses before now Almighty Allah informed us about the people who were followers of his prophets. How those followers behaved well. And the Almighty now in the course of that encouraged we their successors to imbib their actions. As he informed us that we are to be patient the way they were patient. And also that uh, we should not rely on our own efforts but should rather put the trust in Allah and make everything 
recalls back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is able to do all things. In as much as we admit that we are sinners, and so we should always ask Almighty Allah to forgive us our fallacies. When we admit our errors and repent and make up our mind never to persist on error, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shall come to our assistance. That is why this verse 148 is simply about the rewarding result of combining efforts made by us to be patient in the course of inviting people to Islam, as well as repenting from our own mistakes and to always adhere to istighfar. So, when we do all this and rely on Allah, put our trust in Allah, everything shall be okay. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ta will shower his mercies upon us. So Allah here says, فَآتَاهُمُ اللَّهُ ثَوَابَ الدُّنْيَا Therefore, having informed us about the followers of the Prophet in the past, how they behaved. He's now telling us that he, the Almighty, gave them reward in this world as well as reward is awaiting them in the hereafter. Atahum. Atahum. This one is a past tense in its form. When we are making our own prayer, making our own dua, making our own demand, making our own request, we say, Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana. Atina, give us. Atina, that one is a request from us to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As for those people, Allah informed us that he gave them the reward of this near life. It is not against our Sharia of Islam to enjoy the good things of this world. Although a Muslim should try to minimize the enjoyment of this world. So, that he will not expatiate on the mundane pleasures and then forget about the hereafter. Expatiation on these uh, mundane enjoyments is never the way of the godly people who are sincere in their affiliation to the religion of Islam. Islam. فَأَتَاهُمُ اللَّهُ ثَوَابَ الدُّنْيَا Those people who understood Islam this way, as they followed the prophets, behaved well. And so, they deserved reward in this world. وَحُسْنَ ثَوَابِ الْأَخِرَةِ As well as an excellent reward in the hereafter. You know, a Muslim 
is after how can he receive the pleasure of Allah in the hereafter. And that is why whatever Almighty Allah gives you here in the world, you should try to worship Allah with everything. It is not good for a Muslim to come to verse 77 of Surah al Qasas, Quran chapter 28, where Almighty Allah says, Wala dunya. Do not forget your portion, which Almighty Allah has determined for you here in this world. And now come to say that this verse meaning that a Muslim should enjoy the way non-Muslims are enjoying the good things of this life. Non-Muslims who are enjoying anyway, Almighty Allah informed us that we like a kal and arm, that they are just like animals. Don't you see their lifestyle? Gay marriage among them, homosexuality among them, nudity, what they call pornography, where people are having intercourse, even group sex, just like animals. So a Muslim is not expected to lead that kind of life. You know, as Almighty Allah informed us in Surah to Doha, Wala li akhiratu khayrun laka min al-bula. That is verse 4 of Surah to Doha, Quran, chapter 93. Allah says there that without any taint of doubt, they are hereafter. The enjoyment there is better for you than this first enjoyment of the near life. This near life is limited, while that of the hereafter is everlasting. So that one is better for you. And that is why you also have it in Surah Al-A'la, apart from that Surah Al-Duha, in Surah Al-A'la, Quran chapter 87, in verse 17 of it, Almighty Allah says, That enjoyment of the hereafter is better and is lasting. It will not end. Just as punishment there is lasting and will not end. You that now want that lasting enjoyment, do not expatiate on the enjoyment of this life. Here, when people enjoy, they even suffer. Like those who are drinking alcohols. When they drink alcohols and they become drunk, they misbehave. Because al-hamru umul khabaif. Alcoholism is the mother of all atrocities. When they are drunk, as you know, a drunkard does not know whatever he is doing. So a Muslim is not expected to lead his life the way those people are leading theirs. You are to always think of Almighty Allah whenever you are enjoying the things of this life. And that is why you even have to say Bismillah even as you want to enjoy yourself. And that is why things that are forbidden should not be what you are to enjoy here in the life. You cannot go to commit zina and then say Bismillah. You cannot take alcohol for drinking and say Bismillah.
because in Allah la ya'muru bi ithm Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not command evil la ya'muru bi su Allah does not command anything that is evil You are to combine good things of this world as you enjoy them with the fear of Allah. Combination of the good things of this world is exactly what will always result into the combination of rewards for you here and hereafter by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who does not oppress who named himself Rahman Rahim all merciful ever merciful forbidding certain things on you here in the world is for your own good that is why the blame abound against those people who are having different kinds of traditional worship, be they existentialists, free thinkers, at atheists, or materialistic materialist materialists who are in their own nature not remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in their own views they give no consideration to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Consider how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cautioned the pilgrims in Islam when they go to Mecca and come out from Mount Arafa. Allah cautioned them that as they will be praying, they should do not be focused in their dua only on the good things of this world. Allah says in verse 200 of Surah Al-Baqarah, while blaming those who only ask for the good things of the world in Hajj, فَمِنَنْ نَاسِ مَنْ يَقُولُ رَبَّنَا آتِنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا وَمَا لَهُ فِي الْآخِرَةِ مِنِ خَلَاقِ there would be among people who will be saying, Our Lord, give us good things of this world. And then, come, when comes the hereafter, they will have no portion waiting for them. They will have no good reward with Allah in the hereafter. May Allah never allow us to be like those ones. Amen. And so, in verse 201 up to 202 or so Almighty Allah now say why reckoning only with the lasting reward beyond this near life that is limited says he says, Among people also are those who will be praying 
for the good of this life and the life to come. By saying, Rabban, our Lord, Atina fi dunya hasana, let us have good things in this world. Wafili akhirati hasana, and good things in the hereafter. Wakina adabana, and protect us against the punishment of the fire. Allah now says in verse 202, those will be having a bright portion based on what they have earned here in the world when comes the hereafter. Wallahu sari'u li hisab and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is very very swift at making the accounts of a person for him. Allah is very, very swift in making accounts of everybody for him, which means that Allah will not cheat anyone. Nobody will be oppressed. Everybody will only have the balance sheet of his deeds in accordance to what he has done without anything of cheating. And finally, Allah now says, Wallahu yuhibbul muhsinin, that is in this verse 148 that we are explaining. After saying that he, the Almighty, gave the sincere worshippers of he good in the world and better reward in the hereafter. He now says here, Wallahu yuhibbul muslimin, that he, the Almighty, loves the good doers. Ali Muhsinun, the good doers. It is the same word that we use for the philanthropist. We say Al Muhsin. And we say Al Muhsinun, the philanthropists, those who are helping other people. They help other people. When they see some people suffering, they give them relief. They assist them to get out of their sufferings. They are not like the people who are in charge of the COVID palliatives and some of them are now embezzling, diverting, diverting what is meant for the poor for its own personal use. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiu. You who are doing that, you are not a good citizen. You are a bad element in the government when you try to use what is meant for the poor for yourself you are a bad element in whatever office that you hold Ali Hassan which is the abstract now from that word Ali Musinun philanthropist good to us Ali Hassan which means good doing, should go along sincerity. If you are good, you also have to be very, very sincere in what you are doing. Good doing and sincerity are inseparable from one another. When Akinjal Jibril Ali Salam went to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and threw some questions to him, majorly about Islam, about Iman, about Islam, after explaining 
the five pillars of Islam and the six articles of faith. As you know, the five pillars of Islam are what? Ima. That is Tawheed. Salat. Salat. Zakat. Zakat. Hajj. Hajj and so on. After that, he explained the six articles of faith. And what are the six articles of faith? That is, believing in Allah, yeah. in his angels, in his messengers, in his celestial books which he sent to guide human beings, believe in the hereafter, and finally believe in the divine decree. Then, on the issue of al ihsan Ihsan, good doing, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam explained that that one is antabudalloha ka'anna katarahu. It means that you worship Allah as if you see him with your own human face, with your own human mm -hmm. eyes, that if you, you are seeing him face to face in whatever you are doing. Fa'inlam tekun tarahu because even though you are not able to see Allah fa'inahu yarak you should be well assured that Almighty Allah is watchful over you. He sees everything that you are doing and he is going to give you reward on it. Therefore, you just have to be sincere. When you worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you should also be good to people. So, the worship should be proper, just as the conduct should also be refined. That is the only way towards gaining the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A Muslim with bad character can never be regarded a good person. Be good even if people cheat you and they think that uh, you are unwise and stupid because you are good. They do bad to you and you continue doing good to them. <laughs> All matter Allah is there to reward you because as you know, in the verse 146 earlier mentioned before this, Allah said there, well, Allah, you have to sobri. Allah loves the patient one. You just have to be patient. The way Almighty Allah himself is patient with you, so you have to be patient with people. You should not bother yourself about their behaviors. You are to accommodate all and sundry. You have to accommodate all people. You see, uh, what Almighty Allah, what Almighty Allah says about our role model, the seal of the prophets, Sorry, Muhammad, Sarah. son of Abdullah, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. In Quran chapter 68, in the very verses 2 to 6 of it, is this. Ma anta bi ni'imati rabbika bi majanun. You are not by the grace of your Lord mad. You are not mad. Not that you don't know what you are doing. Wa inna laka la ajiran gayru mamun. Awaiting you with Allah is a reward that is endless. By the time you will be reaping the labor or the, the fruit, by the time you will be reaping the fruit of your labor in the hereafter, you will be very, very happy. وَإِنَّكَ لَعَلَىٰ خُلُقٍ عَظِيمٍ And then, more than that, Allah 
commended Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. You are actually on an exalted character. People are treating you badly, but you give them back in good. That is an excellent standard of character. Fasato bosiru wa yo bosirun. Those people will see the result. Just as you will see the result. Fasato bosiru, you yourself, you will later see the result of what is happening among you. Wa yo bosirun, and they themselves will see same. By then, everybody will know, steer clear, who is being troubled here in the world. Is it the person that is painstakingly worshipping Allah? He suffers in that cause, but he continues. Or the one that does not care. The one that is leading his life, anyhow, Allah here says, Fasatu Bosiru, you will see. Where you will see, and they themselves will see. Be I Kumul Maftun, who among you has been troubled? Who has been troubled? You or them? You see? Being good is a high standard of behavior. Good character is part of our religion. That is why Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, In li utam That I, Muhammad Sallallahu is being raised for me to come and compliment noble traits of character. Imam Albani authenticated this hadith in his work as a sila to Sahiha in hadith number 45. And here we are drawing the cutting. The Almighty Allah enable you and I to have benefited much from this. Amen. Now to the saying of the compilers and the writers of Atefsir Muyassar. What do they have to say about this verse 148? They say, Allah mm -hmm. So Allah gave those people who are patient their reward in this world. By, give, by, by making them victorious upon their enemies. And by enabling them to be well established on the land. And by providing them with a refined reward that is very, very great in the hereafter. Awaiting them there before they die. And that reward is admission to the gardens of bliss, the gardens of enjoyment, enjoyment that is never like the enjoyment of this world. People who drink alcohol here get drunk, drunk up, intoxicated, not knowing what they say, not knowing what they do, while the one that drink that Almighty Allah provided in, in the Jannah is not intoxicating. There is nothing to intoxicate in that one. People here are having sexual intercourse. Both man and woman get tired. In the Jannah, they will be having intercourse and nobody will ever get tired. Here in the world, people eat and defecate. In Al-Jannah, people will be eating and will never defecate. 
Allahu Akbar. Here in the world, people drink and urinate. In Al Jannah, they will be drinking different things and will never urinate. Allahu Akbar. Not based on disease. No, but because Al Jannah is not a place of any faith, anything that is considered a debt has no place in Al Jannah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provided things there in the best way. Wallahu yuhibbu kulla mun ahsan ibadatahu li rabbi wa mu'amalatahu li khalqihi And so Almighty Allah loves anyone who appropriately worships Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a person who appropriately worships his Lord and also appropriately treats fellow human beings who are co-creators of Allah. You are, not the, you are not the one that created yourself not to talk of you creating other people. All of you are creators of Allah. That is why you have to do good to them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala subhanahu wa ta'ala has created all of us to live together here in the world. And so, we have to do good to one another. You should not maltreat fellow human beings because you are not their creator. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who created you is the one that created them. May Almighty Allah make you and I to be part of the people who will oblige. Amen. People who will always be keen to do what is right to be done. Amen. And will determine doing it, not just by talking, talking, talking. People who talk less and work more. Enough is enough. What we need now is action. Let us spring into action. Let us Adjust where adjustment is necessary. Let us all go back to the drawing book, uh, the drawing board, and make amendments. Let us repent from our sins. Oh Almighty Allah, forgive us our fallacies. Amen. 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 اللهم يا ربنا اغفر لنا ذنوبنا واسرافنا في امرنا امين وثبت اقدامنا وانصرنا على القوم الكافرين امين اللهم لا تجعل الكافرين ولا للمنافقين علينا سبيلا امين اللهم انا عبيد من عبادك فلا تمنع عنا بذنوبنا فضلك يا غفور يا رحيم امين اللهم ارحم موتانا المسلمين امين وارحمنا قبل موتنا وبعد موتنا يا من وعلى كل شيء قدير اللهم ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب اللهم ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وفي عذاب النار تانك الله تعالى for many of his graces upon us just recently, the Ijebuibo Muslim community gathered and appointed me as the Grand Mufti of the town and its environs. And my prayer is that may Almighty Allah enable me to discharge the duties. Amen. This position is not a privilege. It is rather challenging. Allahumma rabbana a'inni wa la tuhinni ya rabbal alamin. Amen. Allahumma a'izzana bil islam. Wa a'izza al-islam abina ya barru ya rahim. Amen. Rabbana ya hayu ya qayyumi birahamatika nastagis. Amen. 
Aslih lana sha'ana na kudlahu wa la takilna ila anfusina tulfatahai. Ya azizu ya gofaru ya rabbal alemi. Amin. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana. Amin. Wa fil akhirati hasana. Amin. Wa kina adhaba na. Amin. Wa subuhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun. Wa salamun ala al-mursadi. Wa alhamdulillahi wa bila alemi. Wa subuhana kallahu wa bihamdi. Na shadu an la ilaha ila ant. Nostalgia, what to believe.